Okay, Caleb here from Cell Phone Intelligence and just got another teardown for you. This one today is going to be the HTC Raider, uh, also known as the Vivid in the United States. And did I turn it on? No, I forgot to turn it on. Yeah, just to show here that um, yeah, the screen's already all messed up here. Um, I'm not actually going to be completing the repair in this video, but uh, yeah, this phone's already got some issues. <laughs> so, let's get right into it. So, back cover off, usual start here, pull up the battery. Um, SIM card, SD card, uh, recommended you uh, pull those out as well. And what you're going to need for this uh, teardown is uh, just your Phillips uh, precision screwdriver and a case opener tool and or you know pry tool whatever pry piece of plastic and um, that is it well yeah for this particular video you won't need it but um, you may want a hair dryer or a heat gun if you're going to be replacing the screen or the digitizer just because uh, there's a lot of uh, glue you'll have to deal with later on but anyways starting it off here uh, we'll get to these four screws here on the outside then don't forget about these guys and don't forget to pull up the trap door there. Now well, while I'm doing this, I'll just go over the old disclaimer. Uh, I, it's in, you know, I don't think it should even have to be said, it should says common sense. But um, anyways, uh, this uh, video here is just for informational purposes. Um, if you uh, happen to follow these directions or use this guide and end up breaking your phone, a friend's phone, anybody's phone, uh, that is not my problem. <clears throat> use at your own risk. And come on, people, like, let's use your heads. Be smart about it, right? All right, fair enough. So with that said, almost finished here. Now, if you don't need to be taking this phone apart, I recommend not doing it because it's a real pain uh, to be honest so H, I find HTC and LG phones are just ridiculously complicated put together and just yeah just not fun oh, oh the door came with it there but you uh, don't want to forget the, uh, the little door there and then you're going to want to uh, make sure you get this clip here and uh, just make sure you detach that uh, ahead of time and then next uh, we're just going to take our pry tool and uh, work it right in between the edges here and just all the way around and uh, there's um, about four clips uh, two on each side and then uh, a couple at the bottom here uh, holding the housing and the phone all together so the point is to release those clips so that we can uh, remove the phone or remove the internal component and so you'll probably want to be a little more careful than I am uh, just work your way around make sure you get all those clips popped There we go. All right. 
right. So let's get all uh, let's get that uh, all good to go. We'll uh, need to continue along here, uh, removing these two screws uh, as well as uh, this guy in the corner and right by the camera. And these couple of screws here, going to uh, release the uh, battery tray and we'll be able to remove that. If you wonder why I always use this uh, screwdriver here, it's because it's magnetized. And my other ones aren't. Okay, so. And that guy comes right out. Put that off to the side. Okay, so moving right along. Um, Go ahead and remove these two screws on uh, this end here, and then as well, this guy in the, from the corner. And last but not least, down here, just underneath this coaxial cable. And you'll want to make sure to um, pop up the coaxial cables as well, one, two, and three, four. Okay, so next, uh, basically, once you got all that done, what I'll have, what you now, there are a couple of clips that hold the main boards here in, in but. Um, you know it's easy enough to uh, to get it loose, and then what's your I don't know. I guess the easiest way to explain is you're gonna kind of fold it open because there are ribbons underneath um, that are holding being holding part uh, parts of the board in place. So we'll see in a second now as well. This guy here is a ribbon that goes underneath here, so you want to pop that ahead of time, and then. Give it, uh, give it the old open sesame. And voila. And as you can see here, we got this ribbon here. Uh, whoop. Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and detach. Bing. And then lastly, this guy here. Uh, so let's pull the tape back and then see it's like almost like a little bite, um, I don't know, lever barricade. I don't know how to describe it, but it's in the down position. So you want to just, uh, just pull it up into the up position. And then the ribbon slides out. <coughs> So, uh, from this point forward, um, I'm not going to be going any farther forward, um, because beyond this here, it's, um, as you can see, as I've already attempted once here, um, you separate the glass from the, uh, the LCD or from the digitizer, 
and now there's a lot of glue all the way around like I mean lots of glue so instead of being an idiot like me and just prying it up uh, what you want to do is hit it with um, like a hair dryer you know heat gun some kind of heat source directed heat source um, and uh, loosen up that glue there so then it just comes apart nicely and uh, you don't have any issues with the screen or anything or getting glue on the screen and like glue on the digitizer oh that's just the worst so for all the intents and purposes of this video we are finished um, you know at this point you'd be able to um, you know switch out the camera headphone jack um, microphone speakers uh, anything pretty much you need to do any kind of servicing uh, you're good to go so now that we got that done uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together in just a moment okay so put this uh, bad boy back together Yeah, so get that guy back on. And then these ones here are such a pain. Okay. Nope, don't forget to get all three of them. You're setting her back down, doing the reverse fold, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, make sure that uh, you don't cover up um, any of your coaxial connectors. You got the two there, the sneaky, uh, sneaky bastard up here. And then this sneaky bastard in the corner here as well. So. Just be on the lookout. <coughs> Make sure. So, go ahead and get uh, put our screws back in place. Wash my face. Cool. Sure, HTC just did that to piss me off. <laughs> okay, but this is where yeah, Mr. Magnetic really shine, really shine. Okay, <clears throat> and don't forget to uh, do up all your coaxial connections.
It's really easy to fucking time lapse or something during these parts. Stupid cold XOPs. Ruining my life. And yeah, don't forget to, well, don't mix these ones up here. Black on the inside and white on the upside. This is where my pair of tweezers might come in handy here. First thing, try not to get frustrated. Especially when I'm trying to make a video, I don't look like an idiot. There we go, finally, holy heck. <sighs> okay, great. So, moving along. Let's put the, uh, let's put the battery tray back in. Yeah. And you'll know you've done it the right way because you can only really go one way with uh, everything fitting properly. Oh, yeah, we've got four screws going back, sorry, they're uh, top corner. And then right down the long side here. And one on the other side, or across from it. And then a silver screw going right up by the camera. Always make sure you tighten your screws. I usually like to just set them in place and then go back and tighten them uh, afterwards. Okay, so we're pretty much uh, getting to the end here. Uh, so now we're just going to uh, put the uh, the main board here and everything uh, back into uh, the housing. So we'll start at the top, uh, the easiest. Just slide her up in place, and then just push her down, uh, making sure that all of those clips uh, are engaged. I don't know, used, caught, whatever and uh, just go along the edges of the phone there and you'll know if uh, any of the clips uh, oh, I got them all there but uh, if any of them uh, aren't uh, in position uh, you'll notice like a pretty thick bulge right on the side there so uh, as you can see here you know no bulge you're good 
And back to the beginning. Excuse me. Now, don't forget to uh, just reattach that last uh, <clears throat> ribbon and put the door back on. And then replace the screws. Uh, so the four larger, uh, the four longer screws uh, going on the exterior corners of the uh, battery compartment and then the two smaller screws going uh, at the bottom of the foam. Damn screws, ruined my life. Okay. Okay, so uh <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Oh, um so if you like this video um, and looking for other ones, uh, I've got more teardowns, um, uh, you know, reviews, tips and tricks for other phones. Um, check out the YouTube channel, and that's youtube.com slash cellphoneintel with one L. And as well, hit up the uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash cellphoneintelligence, and uh, hit the like button. And yeah, just do it. That's uh, that's really, really all there is uh, on that one. And I'm all finished here. So all went according to plan. Uh, the screen will still be screwed, but the phone will turn on and operate uh, in the shitty capacity it did before. I feel like this video took a while. Yeah, it's probably like 20, 25 minutes. But with the full teardown and rebuild, like you know, it takes time. <clears throat> okay, so there you have it. Uh, that is the uh, teardown of the HCC Raider. Um, as I already mentioned, hit up the YouTube channel, Facebook, and thank you uh, so much for watching. It's been my pleasure as always, and whoa, just as beautiful as it was before. So. Uh, as I've already said, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Caleb, and this has been your cell phone intelligence. So, until next time.